Okay, maybe you're new to home buying, maybe you haven't bought a home in 15 years, this video is for you. Hey, if you've bought three homes in the last 10 years, go ahead and skip to the next one. We've got some great content. If you're new to home buying or you haven't bought since, mm, I don't know, the turn of the century, watch this video. We're going to give you a quick breakdown of what the home buying process looks like and best ways to start. What's up, everybody? Brian Kay. Thanks for joining me here on BK Realty Solutions. Let's dive into what to do if you're interested in buying a home. Okay, first step, you're gonna have two really big vendors that are gonna be on your side, your real estate agent and your lender. Unless you're lucky enough to have cash, then it's just gonna be the agent. Here's the best way to get started. Reach out to a real estate agent and start talking to them. Hey Brian, I'm just curious, what's it like to buy a house? Couple different reasons, one, this relationship is going to be crucial to you through the home buying process. Two, when you reach out to an agent up front, you have the opportunity to get connected with a great lender that's known around the area and has versatile experience. That's key. Those two key players in your side is going to be crucial. Oh my gosh, Brian, but my best friend's a lender and I started talking to him. That's okay. That's okay. Your next step, if perhaps you got onto a website and you found a lender or uh, you're talking to a great lender, ask them if they've got any agents that they refer, first off. Uh, secondly, you're going to want to sit down with a great agent. Sure, everybody wants to hop on Zillow and just start looking. There's a couple key things that we're going to get to here in just a moment of why you want to start that relationship early. I will tell you that over all the transactions I've done, some of the best transactions for the buyers have resulted because of our due diligence up front. Okay, so now you've started talking to an agent, you've started talking to a lender, what's next? Well, while you're talking to a lender, we're gonna wanna find out how much we can afford. Ain't no sense in going shopping for a $700,000 home if you can only afford a $400,000 home. If I show you a $700,000 house, or I show you a Maserati, and then you have to buy a Honda, it's gonna be a little bit different. So we gotta get your numbers. We're gonna get that from the lender. Hey, how much works for us? And it's not always what your maximum is. It's gotta be what you feel comfortable with. That could be a whole nother video on its own. Okay, so now we've looked at, we've talked to an agent, we've sat down, we've done a once and needs analysis. There's other videos on buyers consultations. See down below. Um, we've talked to our lender. We know what our numbers are. Now we're gonna go start looking at homes, okay? Uh, this may be digitally, probably a lot of it is gonna be digitally. And there again, if you haven't bought a house in 20 years, it is drastically different. It's not just looking at the book that your agent has. There's a whole Weberverse that has homes and properties for sale now, okay? The challenge is there's a whole Weberverse of homes and properties and not everything's accurate. So back up to the agent, we're gonna rely on them. Crucial part of the strategy here, right? So agent's gonna start sending you homes. Hey, Sally, I think you might like 123 Main Street or hey, John, uh, 456 Smith Road is fantastic. Take a look at this. The key thing here is to give feedback to your agent, okay? Um, we're talking like good feedback. Hey, you know what? That house is uh, too big. It's on the wrong side of town. I don't like uh, train tracks, right? Okay. Now your agent can help craft it. If your agent's not helping craft that search, get another one. Okay. Move on. It's time to move on. You're going to find properties all over. Your agent's going to send them to you. You might see a Facebook ad um, for a property. You might see a Zillow ad uh, or Realtor.com or Bing, Bang, Boom, whatever. The, the universe is going to bring you a whole bunch of homes and properties for sale. Key that you give that back to your agent. Hey, you know what? I was, I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw this house for sale. I'm just curious about it. One, your agent's always going to be on your side. They're not going to slip up and give too much information away when they start talking to uh, sellers or other agents. And two, they can now receive that feedback. Hey, I, I didn't even know you guys wanted to live on that part of town. 
right? So keep your agent involved when you're seeing these places. You go into an open house, let your agent know, hey, man, I went to this open house down the road, um, and I did not care for that fill in the blank will do whoop. Um, so you want to keep that feedback loop hot with your agent so that they know. Uh, ultimately, you're going to find the one that you like and you're going to end up writing an offer. Now, we're going to do more videos about each different process. This is just to help you get started. Okay, too many people, and I, I can't express this enough, too many people have reached directly out to the agent that is selling the home. A uh, couple things. One, you expose a lot of your uh, information to uh, basically the other side. Two, developing that relationship early gives you someone that you can trust. This is what I do every day. There are so many agents out there that this is what they do full time. If you've never done it, let me ask you this. If your doctor came to you tomorrow and said, I'm sorry, you need brain surgery. Would you go at it alone? Hey, hon, give me the uh, the scalpel and some rubbing alcohol and maybe a couple paper towels. Or would you seek the advice of an expert? That's what this is. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars that you're going to be working with that is going to be transferring hands from one to another. Not only is that a lot of money, that's a lot of emotion. So establish the relationship with your agent and your lender right away. That will give you the best start to creating a great experience for you with real estate. Hey, appreciate you watching this. If you've enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel, hit us up. Let us know if there's something you guys want to hear about. BK knows the way.